In this video I'm going to show how you can set up objects for code to collect. Um, in this game I'm going to set up stars I'm going to click on the object tool and I'm going to put a star very close by for code to collect and I'm going to choose the star and I'm going to drop that in and again just before you can change the colours with the arrow keys when you're, you're hovering over the icon. Um, you can make the size a little bigger if you wish and what I need, now need to do, currently if I play the game, if Kodu bumps into the, the object, nothing happens. But I want to program Kodu so that when he bumps into the object, he collects it um, and it increases the score by one. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of code on, pro, on Kodu. I'm going to program it so that when he bumps into the star, Oops, wrong plus. Um, on objects, it's actually hidden away on the more menu on here. Um, when he bumps into a star, what I want him to do is actually, I'm going to actually get him to eat it, so it'll make the object disappear from the screen. Now, in addition to eating the star, I could actually put in here that um, when he bumps into the star, so I'm, I'm kind of repeating myself here a little bit, um, I also want the score to increase by one. Now I've actually repeated myself there and a little shortcut to help with this is you can indent your row of code so that now bump in star will not only eat the star but also increase the score by one. So let's test our program out now and see what happens if I collect the star now it will disappear. You see the little plus one and my, my score has gone up by one. Next job for me to do now is to add some more stars for Cody to collect. Hopefully, um, we can get a, a challenging game. 